A decades-long mega drought fueled by climate change is nearing a tipping point for states in the West. The Colorado River is the main supply of water for 40 million people, but the river and its reservoirs are now running dry. Ben Tracy shows us that as water becomes scarce, Wall Street sees profits. Come on back. Colorado rancher Joe Bernal has just one source of water, the Colorado River. So that river is your lifeline. That's it. That's all we got with, is that river. And that river is why someone new bought this land just down the road. Water Asset Management owns that property. And when you first heard of them, what was your reaction? Surprise and concern. They are concerning because they're large. Water Asset Management is a New York investment firm with offices inside this building. In the past five years, it has bought at least $20 million worth of land in western Colorado. These are folks that have uh, identified the drought as an opportunity to make money. Andy Mueller's job is to protect Colorado's share of the river. He says water asset management has acquired more than 2,500 acres of farmland for the water rights that come with it. With the intent to not use the water and send the water downstream to an entity or entities that might pay them quite a bit of money. I view these uh, private drought profiteers as vultures. That's pretty strong. Yeah. It's a trillion dollar market opportunity. Matt Desario is president of Water Asset Management. He declined our request for an interview. But three years ago, he said one of his firm's strategies is to profit from water rights, in part by making the farms it buys more efficient and selling water to other users, including farmers and municipalities. When you need water, water is the only thing that will do. So why is water now so scarce in the West? Well, Dr. Greg Postel with our partners at the Weather Channel is here to explain. Well, Ben, the Colorado River relies mostly on snowmelt from the Rocky Mountains, and climate change is making the West hotter. And for every degree increase in temperature, the river flow has dropped by about 5%. That adds up to about a 20% reduction over the past century. The nation's largest reservoirs are hitting record lows. It's so bad, Congress is allocating $4 billion that can be used to pay farmers to not use their water, making water rights even more valuable. So whose land is this? Uh, water Asset Management. Joe Bernal is now leasing some land from Water Asset Management. He says ranchers here are keeping an eye on their new neighbors. And we'll be watching for what, what may be coming. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Grand Junction, Colorado.